Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's look at an example of our basic counting methods, our fundamental counting methods. So let's say we're looking at license plates. And here we have a license plate with six characters. The first three are alphabet characters and the last three are number characters. And so there's a total of six. Notice there's 26 letters in the alphabet and there's 10 numerical characters of one digit from zero all the way up to nine. How many different license plates can we have with that kind of arrangement? And notice that if we have a license plate that has ABC123, that's not the same as BCA123. In other words, order does matter. So essentially, we're looking for the number of permutations, not for the number of combinations. Also notice the word trials. We can look at each character and think of it as a trial. We put a certain character in the first spot and how many different ways or how many different characters can we put there? Since it's an alphabet character, we could put 26 different characters there. And we can put 26 different characters there. Regardless of what we put there, we can still put an A there because there's no restriction of having multiple characters of the same type. So we can call each one of those characters a trial and then we have to determine how many outcomes there are for each trial and then we have to realize that the total number of outcomes is going to be equal to the product of all the outcomes. So it's n1 times n2 times n3 times n4 times and 5 and times and 6. We're simply going to multiply all the different outcomes for each of the trials for each of the characters. So in this case that's equal to, since there's 26 letters, we have 26 outcomes for the first one, 26 outcomes for the second one, 26 outcomes for the third, and then 10 for the fourth, 10 for the fifth, and 10 for the sixth. And so that's the total number of license plates we can have in other words, the total number of permutations. And let's see what that's equal to. 26 raised to the third power times 1,000 equals. And so we end up with, if I can get this cap un unplugged here. So this is equal to 1,757,000 1,757,000. Whoa, is, it, is that right? Hmm, 17 million? 17 million. Wow. I'm misreading this. So we have a total of 17,576,000 different license plates. Those are the total number of permutations. So if any country or any state wants to use that mechanism for license plate, then the maximum number of license plates they can have is a about 17 and a half million license plates. So for large countries or large states with lots of cars, they would run out of numbers to use and they probably have to go to a different scheme. So we'll look at some examples of different schemes later. But at least here's a good example for the total number of outcomes. Now we didn't use that equation that we saw in the beginning in some of the first videos. We simply used the general counting rule that we have six trials, six different outcomes. The total number of outcomes of all the trials, all six characters in the license plate is simply the product of the outcomes of each. And that ends up with the number 17,576,000. And that is how it's done. Let's see if I got it right or not. And looks like it's correct. Yay. <laughs>